Hello from Berkshire. Well, we may not be able to meet up, uh, but we can do what everyone seems to be doing these days, which is a virtual meeting. So I thought I'd um, just show you around my little garden here where I work at uh, uh, in West Berkshire. I call it my garden. I shouldn't do that really, because um, it's uh, part of a supported living accommodation. Uh, so, um, we try to um, provide interest in the garden and make the garden useful uh, to produce things that the, the guys who live here are, are interested in. So, um, we do vegetables. Uh, actually, if I just, I'll try and show you around. This is going to be quite difficult because, uh, let's see. No, I can't. Right, I can't actually turn the camera around, but this is um, a bed of uh, triandra, willow, uh, salix triandra for basket making, so forth. Um, in amongst it, we've got some comfrey plants. These were actually the spare plants because over here last year, I rotivated a bed and you can see what's happened. <laughs> The grass has just absolutely taken off and I didn't get a chance to, uh, uh, you know, do the amount of hoeing and weeding that I should have done. In between them we've got uh, the Jerusalem artichokes. So these are basically, everything in this bed is going to be like perennial crops. Um, these are this year's sowings of uh, globe artichokes. I've got two beds here which have just been digging over this spring for um, asparagus, yes, couldn't think of the name, asparagus, which we have grown here from seed. So all this lot is perennials, and uh, the, this is my, uh, this is where we're growing beans. Um, we, <laughs> this, this is a bit of a laugh, this is our raw beans here. <laughs> We've got two plants left. Um, so, uh, so, I don't know what came in and ate them, but something ate the lot. We lost them. Uh, those are the runner beans, which you can see they got frosted. So, not doing very well with the beans so far. Um, these are, oh, oh, what are they called? Alderman peas? Yeah. So, there's a few potatoes still in here from last year. Um, I'm going to let those go. And because uh, we're very short potatoes this year. Um, so those are alderman peas. And these, this net here is to support these uh, very young looking uh, sugar snap peas. There's an old spinach plant in there. That's what we had in there last year, spinach. Uh, these, this is the old carrot bed, which is going to go for beans as well. But I'm, uh, I'm absolutely bonkers on keeping seed. So... This was the parsnip bed, keeping a few there for seed. Um, in the parsnip bed, I don't know if you can see them, but uh, I've been, uh, I planted out some courgettes and you can see what happened. Uh, it was like a summons to the, the, um, the uh, king of the ice kingdom. Uh, he came down with his silvery wand and struck them all down. So, uh, they're actually still alive. <laughs> they're still green and you can see there's some leaves going through. So I'm going to try and hang on to those. Okay, so that in that bed, everything leguminous really. That's the legume part of the cycle. This is the roots part of the cycle, which uh, uh, we've got an old, this is the fourth year for this strawberry bed here. They're just about finished really. They'll be dug up at the end of this year. This is our last year. Um, there were some potatoes in here, but God knows what's happened to them. They haven't come up. I think they were, um, uh, destined to be, uh, um, <clears throat> sterile or whatever they are. I don't know. Uh, but we got, uh, this is quite interesting. I've got evening primrose here and hollyhock. Um, and these are things that I want to establish all around the garden. This, this, when I came here, this place was pretty much, it had some clover in, but otherwise there was very little um, free growing stuff, what I call free growing, you know, 
things. There's a bit of escape comfrey. This is, this is a two-year-old strawberry bed, so this one's in maximum production. You can see there's a few lovely little strawberries on there. Now this is my uh, intensive root bed, so I grow, there's carrots on the right, parsnips in the middle with radishes to mark them out, and then the beetroots on the left. I've just been weeding in here and you can see it looks a bit decimated at this end, but once it's watered, it'll all come back nicely. Uh, this is our major potato bed, um, which you can see had a major attack of the frost, uh, but it's coming back again. There's a few more potatoes up at the end there. This is last year's nursery bed for the leeks, which um, has been a little bit neglected. Uh, so over on this side, these are, these are more what I call the heavy feeders, really, over this side. Uh, that's a bit of a joke, really, because uh, <laughs> I haven't been doing much feeding. Um, we've got some, we planted a, a huge hedge of copper beech, and these are a few of the remnants from our plantings. So uh, they'll be, that, that's just a temporary healing in place. That, this is first year strawberries here. Sorry, uh, this is second year. The last one was third year. So <clears throat> each um, of the four rotating beds has one strawberry bed in it. For some reason, the soil here is very well suited to strawberries. Uh, we don't seem to get much mould. Uh, we have to net it to keep the birds off. Um, but the strawberries grow like crazy. Uh, I think this soil's slightly acidic here. As you can see, we're surrounded by woodland, which is just fantastic. Um, and now all the, uh, the woodland microorganisms drifting across or something, but the strawberries feel very much at home here. Uh, so the <clears throat> no digging. Um, well, we had such a wet winter and spring, um, I could not get on here to dig at all. Uh, it was just impossible. So I've ended up having to mulch. Uh, and you can see there's weeds coming up through the mulch. But um, I figure that's better than doing nothing at all and letting the, uh, the weeds just take over. Uh, this is the garlic bed. So we've got two kinds of garlic. We've got the well, normal kind of French <laughs> or... Well, perhaps we should say Chinese supermarket garlic up this end. And then this is elephant garlic here. Um, it must be getting pretty close to being ready. Uh, this is an empty bed at the moment. We had, um, I think, endives in here last year. Uh, again, it's not been dug. <laughs> but I'm just starting to put some herbs in here. I'll put some parsley in as well. Um, so we've got... Uh, some flowers here. I like to have as many flowers as possible. Last year's spinach, which is going to seed, looks a bit um, miserable. It was a bit miserable because um, I didn't get around to thinning it and uh, it grew uh, very um, tightly packed. And it's been okay in the spring, this spring. It's not been too bad because I have eventually managed to thin it out. So this is um, another strawberry bed, <laughs> say we have. Uh, but I'm, this is an experiment this year. I'm into planting uh, simply because I hadn't got enough dug space with, uh, these are two different kinds of chicory endive, um, which I simply love myself. And it, it's quite popular actually, it makes a great salad. And under here we've got Brussels sprouts, which are netted because uh, Every single brassica I planted last year was eaten, um, and I think it's pigeons we, because of the woods here. We've got lots of pigeons around, so uh, I'm netting them this year to see if that makes any difference. Uh, so here's <laughs> yes, well here's a work in progress. This is the brassica bed. Would you believe it? So. Uh, is this is the corner of the garden where there is least hope, I think. But um, again, these because of the hard uh, waterlogged ground, I just gave, just decided I'm going to mulch with cardboard, whatever I can find. Um, we've got some old straw here, and and this bed here, this is what happened.